This video will cover the sheet metal part cut tool. The cut tool is straightforward. It uses the outline of a sketch to create a hole through a selected face on a sheet metal part in the shape of the sketch. Access the cut tool on the ribbon in the sheet metal tab in the sheet metal tools group or right click the mouse and select it on the pop up menu. You can also find it on the sheet modeling toolbar. Enter the selected sketch in the sketch box. In the type box, select one of three cut types from the drop down menu. To depth, cuts from the working plane to the specified depth. If you choose to depth, enter the value or formula for the depth to which you want to cut. You can also click the equation editor button to use an equation for this value. Click reverse to cut from the opposite side of the working plane. If you do not enter a value here, the thickness of the material will be used as the default value. If you need to use the material thickness but it's not shown in the box, click the return arrow icon to place the material thickness value in the box. Through all, cuts through all solids starting at the sketch plane, cutting in both directions. Mid plane, cuts to depth, equal distances in both directions from the working plane. The length you specify is the total length of the extrusion. If you chose mid plane, reverse is disabled because the extrusion will be made in both directions. In label, enter a unique name for the cut feature if desired. Labeling all features is a good way to help keep things organized. Here's an example of how the cut tool works. Draw a sketch in the shape of the cut you wish to make on the selected face or select a pre-existing sketch already on that face. Dimensions can be added as needed. Select the cut tool and select the sketch for the cut. Select one of the three cut types. We'll select two depth and use the default depth value of the material thickness. Now click OK. Even though the cut crossed over the edge of a flange, the cut is only as deep as the material thickness. Doing this operation over again, but this time using a value of 1 inch for the depth of the cut, produces this result. Now let's do this process again, but this time use the through all cut type just to see the difference. If you need a corresponding cut on another flange, you can constrain another sketch to this feature and make an additional cut. In this example, we have a reference line running down the center of the length of the tab. A symmetric constraint based on this center line keeps the two sketches symmetrical about this center line. Using the two depth cut type for this example and using a depth value of a half inch yields this result. This video covered the sheet metal part cut tool. The sheet metal part cut tool will remove material from a selected sheet metal part face by using a sketch on that face to define the location and shape of the cut. The default depth of cut is the thickness of the material, but other values can be used for the depth of cut. Through all and mid plane are other cut depth options that make the cut tool efficient and flexible.